Hello everyone, my name is Wes and today we're going to talk about the new release of War Selection. This is the beginning of meditation. So first of all, the game I've added few new languages, so Indie, Sketch, and Slovak. So that's kind of cool because that's what allow us to reach more players all around the world. Also, the big match of this upgrade is obviously uh, the two new country, which is Great Britain and India. So that's very cool. We was waiting for this one for a long time, and those countries are available by buying them with some tech point on the top left corner of the game menu. Then. All the gun can attack the target whenever possible while a unit is rotating. So that's kind of cool because that's removed the fact of when, for example, you need to turn around one of unit uh, and that unit need to fully stop before shooting. Now they will be able to shoot while doing the rotation as soon they have the target on site. So after that we have the interface, um, so load of a unit by another unit is indicated by the special indicator. So that's probably for the uh, tiger, tiger car we can see right over here. So this unit is actually a car who can spawn some tiger and you can attack and control those tigers. So that's probably what they mean by it. Change the languages, selection and surface. Okay, so that's kind of cool. They just modified the little button to select the option of your language. Increase repair cost of any building. There wasn't any indication in game uh, to see what's the repair cost of the building, so I cannot say really uh, what I'm thinking about it. Uh, I'm not sure if that was necessary or not, but I guess we will see how it's going game. Upgrade, explore the area, research time increase from 60 to 100 seconds. Okay, whoa, that is huge. So that means it's going to take like 40 more seconds to be able to have the vision of our territory. So that is a huge game changer, mainly for uh, if you're getting a Stone Age rush. So you're gonna need to be very careful with that to be able to defend yourself and always be ready. Okay, so now we have the balance. So you cannot go to Industrial Age 2 uh, with offset building. Oh, okay, so that means actually we're gonna need to modernize every single unit from Medieval Age to be able to reach Industrial Age 2. And that's a huge game changer too because Industrial Age costs a lot of resources and yes, Industrial Age 2 give you like huge advantage in technology and uh, unlock you a lot of new unit, but that's going to cost you a lot more resources now to be able to reach that age. Now, increase the number of three in the first near the starting point. Okay, so that's kind of cool too. That's actually, I really enjoy that because I was finding when we start the game, it's very difficult often to um, to find the forest, uh, mainly in arid map. So what the balance say is we should not have that much of a problem at the beginning of a game to be able to find some trees. Okay, so the next one now. Mammoth live only 10 minutes. Uh, kind of makes sense, actually. I mean, Mammoth was only here for the Stone Age people. So, okay, I understand the point. I hope, though, they kind of gonna make a way of the the meat is uh, getting uh, putrefied, so just being less and less meat on the pile of meat of the mammoth, just because it's kind of a little a cheat if you just wait for all, the, all those mammoth to die to collect all the, um, the meat. I think it should be like more uh, a bonus. For example, if during that first 10 minute you did kill a mammoth to collect his meat, then at this point you are able to get that 1k of meat. But if you did not, I don't think you should really have the chance to get the meat of the mammoth all around the map. Then, we have early Europe. So the Spearman attack increase from 0.7 to 0.8. So that means they actually nerf a little bit the Spearman. And for honestly, that, that's kind of cool. That's okay because honestly, spearmen of Europe are very, very strong. Uh, we get a lot of rush of those one early games, so that's kind of cool. Then, training time for the RAM are reduced uh, from 140 seconds to uh, 110. I think that's very cool too, actually, because we don't see RAM very often. I would say I will see a RAM one every 20 game and often is useless. So making that RAM coming uh, sooner will give more chance that unit to be created by some players. Then we have the early Asia. So 
Spearman attack time increased from 0.9 to 1.0. Oh, okay, I wasn't expecting that, to be honest. I thought it was nerfing them to make Asia a little bit more balanced with Europe. But it's actually, they just want to kind of uh, nerf the, the Pac-Man rush in both nations. So that's kind of cool. We'll see, because if the Pac-Man are not that strong as before, probably people will start to use different kind of units. Then the AV Spearman reduce, uh, cost reduce from 50, uh, 40, 20. So that means 50 food, uh, 40 wood, and 20 of uh, iron to 50 food, 40 uh, wood, and 10 of iron. So he's actually just reduced 10 for the iron. I would say that's totally okay just because iron should be saved uh, for medieval age and as um, Bronze Age and Iron Age is a little bit more uh, difficult to um, to get that iron to make those units. Then we have Medieval Europe now. So the Crossbowman attack time reduced from 5 seconds to 4.5 seconds. So let's make the Crossbowman a little bit more stronger. Uh, that would be interesting to test how they look like in-game. Then we have the Horseman Crossbowman attack time reduced from 6 to five seconds okay so actually the horseman crossbowman that will be very strong because you can kite with those horses so that will make them a way stronger than earlier then grenadier attack time uh, reduced from five seconds to uh, 4.5 also gunshot damage increased from 20 to 22 okay cost reduced from 150 to 100, 150 to 150 of food, 100 of wood, and 120 of uh, metal. Mm. Again, honestly, I think that that's all right because at the um, late medieval age, I would say a lot of people have the tendency just to stick with uh, the early unit just because um, they do pretty much the same damage as uh, those ones so increasing a little bit the damage of uh, the grenadier and reducing also the cost of it will make the player using them a little bit more too dragon now attack time reduced from six to five damage increase from 19 to 20 so a little buff here and uh, damage to build a reduce from 19 to 12 Okay, so they make that unit stronger against other unit, but they nerf them against building now. Now, Western Europe. Onager, um, they damage increase from 25 to 35. Okay, that's it huge. That's a huge increase of damage. So that would be interesting too to see uh, how they will work inside the game. Probably a lot of people will try to mix that unit with uh, other, other unit just to be able to deal some more damage. Then here we have the longbow, damage increase from uh, 14 to 15, attack distance increase from 130 to uh, 140, arrow spread decrease from 10% uh, to 9%. Okay, so the longbow men are way uh, stronger too. I think they really tried to increase a lot the medieval age uh, powers in everything just to make a, like a bigger difference with the iron age. So that's kind of interesting. So now we have the Shario, uh, those one increase view range, okay, so they can see a way farther. And uh, training time reduced from 60-45 to 40-30 seconds, so they will spawn a little bit faster than usually, actually a way faster than usually. Okay, so that will be interesting too. Knight, armor increase from 5.9 to 7.1, attack time decrease from... Uh, 1.2 to uh, 1.1 so they attack a little bit faster and they increase the armor a lot actually so that's what that will make the knight a way more relevant in the game i think uh they buff a little bit the knight just because they was uh, losing their utility in the game it actually makes sense because uh i would say a month ago i was seeing a lot of knight in game when uh, we was reaching europe uh but more the game was going forward uh, less people was using the knight, so increasing a little bit of them will bring the knight back, which is a good thing. 
Musketeer attack time reduce 6 to 5, damage increase 19 to 20, damage building increase to 10, uh, 8 to 10. So that's a little buff for Musketeer 2. Like I was saying, like in late uh, medieval, it's kind of cool. They actually buffing those one to make them uh, a bigger use. So now we have the Bombard. Bombard training time reduced from 150 to 130. So they will spawn away faster too from 20 seconds. Uh, cannon. Training time reduced to 180 to 150. Training time reduced from 30 seconds. That is huge. I really like that buff just because people uh, use a little bit less uh, cannons. They uh, mainly use trebuchet usually. And so maybe that uh, little buff over here will uh, make people use a little bit more of the cannons. Uh, after that, Curacy, damage increase from 15 to 17. Training time uh, decrease from 80 to 60 to 70 50 seconds um cost decrease from 250 0 150 to 250 0 and 120 so the currency get buffed to a little bit over here and uh the speed time for spawning is a little bit better too okay so now eastern europe so Archer training time reduced from 20 to 18 seconds, cost reduced from uh, 100 of uh, food to 75 of food. So that's also a huge buff actually for the archer because a lot of people start to use more and more archer in game. Uh, catapult damage increased from 150 to 200. That I honestly love it because people just uh, have the tendency to go for uh, Western Europe to be able to use uh, the trebuchet and making Eastern Europe some good uh, siege weapon that will really increase the amount of player who play with Eastern Europe. Now, Horse Archer, training time decreased from 60 to 45, that's huge too. Arrow spread decreased from 20 to 16, okay, so that's a little buff too for the accuracy. Then we have the Light Knight. Armor increase for 3.1 to 4.6, attack time reduced from 1.2 to 1.0 seconds, training time decrease from 100 to 80 seconds. Okay, so that's a little buff here too. Then, Skrillet, Strelet, I have no idea how to pronounce this one. Attack time reduced from 6 to 5. Okay, so a little buff here too for the attack time. Gunshot damage increase from 21 to 22. Gunshot damage on building reduced from 21 to 12. So stronger against unit, but a way less strong against building. Then we have the Curacy. And again, as you can see, just coming back here, they reduce uh, the damage of the unit due on building, but they increase the Caterpillar. So they really want people to start using more the Caterpillar. That's 50 damage boost is huge. Then here we have Curacy. So damage increase from 15 to 17 training time. Decrease from 80 to 65, cost decrease from uh, 250, 0, 150, 250, 0, 120. So again, they reduce the cost, they reduce the time of spawning, a they uh, buff a little bit of the damage. Then the two last here, we have the Kozak, who uh, the training time are reduced from uh, 35 seconds, which is huge too. And the Usaria, uh, the training time reduced from 100 to 80. For the Eastern Europe, I kind of really like the fact of uh, they reduced a lot of the timing of the spawning from for the ores because I was finding Eastern Europe was very weak against other uh, nations just because of the spawning time. It was taking so long to be able to create an army that will really put that nation back into the game. What's easier now? So we have the CPAP, damage reduced from 7 to 6, attack time reduced from 1.5 to 1.2 seconds. Maluk damage reduced from 7 to 6, time increase from um, 1.5 to 1.3. So actually, that's the time decrease. So they will attack a little bit faster, as I can understand but they reduce the uh, damage they do. Now, Elephant. Training time for Elephant reduced to 100 to 90 seconds. That I love it because I'm a big fan of Elephant and I find it took like an eternity to spawn them. Then we have the Bashi Buzuk. The attack time decreased from uh, 4 seconds to 3.5. That's a lot of it too. Uh, back up time decreased from 40 to 35 seconds. Okay, cannon um, cost reduced from 
zero zero uh, four hundred fifty of metal to three hundred and eighty. That I kind of love it because same thing as uh, e Eastern Europe is a little bit uh, like uh, weaker than Western. Uh, Western Asia was actually uh, weaker than Eastern Asia, so I kind of like it the fact of they uh, they did those upgrade. So I really like the fact of they reduce the time of the elephant spanning, and I, th I find that's very very cool because uh, infantry in Western Asia are okay, but they're a little bit weak, and so the fact of they can have elephant with them to be able to tank a little bit more and uh, to spawn those elephant faster is quite a nice thing. Personally, I think I will even. Uh, decrease a little bit more the spawning time to make it something like 80 but we'll see how it looks like in game now then right over here we have the East Asia so East Asia for the Dragoon the attack time has reduced to 6 to 5 seconds the damage have increased from 19 to 20 damage to the building reduced from uh, 19 to 12 so same thing here the increase against unit and the decrease against building then the Shokunu uh, attack time reduced from 6 to 5 seconds, so that's a little buff, that's quite cool too. Then here we have the RK Boozier, RK Boozier, I have no idea how to say that guys. So the attack time are reduced from 5 to 5.5, so that's kind of cool too. Um, a backup time reduced from 35 to 30 seconds, okay, so we can spawn those a little bit faster too. Cost reduced to... 175 75 to 175 and 50 so they reduce the iron cost of it then the end cannon so that time reduced from 7 to 6.5 backup reduced from 180 to 150 reduced cost to 200 400 200 to 200 400 150 so again a little bit less um iron for the cost of the hand cannon then we have the springle who the damage uh building has reduced from 60 to 40, so that's quite huge actually, that's a 20 minus. Finally here, uh, for Industrial Revolution, we have the Longboat can repair building, APC uh, damage reduced from 35 to 32, so that's that's good actually, because APC was a way OP, like a lot of people are using them crazy at the moment. And the Scrident Cannon increase enemy detection area. Okay. So overall, I really like that match. First of all, uh, because we do have to buy uh, the country for India and Great Britain and all other country who's going to come for Industrial Age. I think it's kind of nice to be able to uh, spend our tank points. Then after that, they nerf the Pikeman Rush. Then overall, in Medieval Age over here, I really like the, the fact of they reduce the spawning time of Cavalry, uh, Elephant, and Cannon. That will just make player uh, use those units are way more. Also, I really think that uh, Maj will uh, bring back the Eastern Europe, who uh, are not very used by player to be honest, back into the game. And another thing I really like about that match is just the fact of uh, every single unit uh, really start to have their own um, use. So, for example, uh, a unit who have guns now can deal more damage to other unit, but don't do that much damage on building, which is very realistic. So I really like that. So on that guys, I personally prefer India, so my next video will show you all the new units and everything you have to offer. On that, I really hope you enjoyed the video, if you like it, follow me. You also have my um, Twitch link in the description, and see you in the next one.